Hypersomnia is a sleep disorder characterized by excessive daytime sleepiness. It's more than just feeling a bit tired after a late night. People with hypersomnia experience extreme sleepiness during the day, even after getting a full night's sleep. Imagine feeling like you could fall asleep at any moment, whether you're at work, having dinner, or even while driving. That's what life can be like for someone with hypersomnia. They might sleep for unusually long periods at night, sometimes up to 14 hours or more, and still wake up feeling unrefreshed. During the day, they might take long naps but never feel fully alert. This constant sleepiness can have a huge impact on a person's life. It can affect their work performance, social relationships, and overall quality of life. Some people with hypersomnia describe it as feeling like they're moving through life in a fog, never quite able to shake off the sleepiness. It's important to note that hypersomnia is different from just feeling tired. We all have days when we're a bit sleepy, but for people with hypersomnia, this feeling is persistent and interferes with their daily life. It's not something that can be fixed with an extra cup of coffee or an early night. According to research, about 5% of the general population experiences hypersomnia, and the condition is diagnosed more frequently in young adults, particularly those in their late teens and early 20s. Types of hypersomnia. When it comes to hypersomnia, there's not just one type. The condition can be broken down into several types, each with its own characteristics. Number one, primary hypersomnia. This is also known as idiopathic hypersomnia. Idiopathic is just a fancy way of saying that the cause isn't known. People with this type experience excessive sleepiness without any other obvious medical condition causing it. They might sleep for extremely long periods at night and still feel the need to nap during the day. Number two, secondary hypersomnia. This type is caused by another medical condition or situation. Common causes include conditions like sleep apnea, where breathing repeatedly stops during sleep, preventing restorative rest, and causing excessive daytime sleepiness. Depression, hypothyroidism, and certain medications, such as sedatives, can also lead to secondary hypersomnia. Once the underlying condition is treated, the hypersomnia often improves. Number 3. Recurrent hypersomnia. This is a rare form where people experience episodes of extreme sleepiness that can last for days or even weeks. The most well-known form of recurrent hypersomnia is Klein-Leben syndrome, also called sleeping beauty syndrome. People with this condition might sleep for up to 20 hours a day during an episode, only waking to eat or use the bathroom. Number 4. Narcolepsy. While narcolepsy is often considered a separate condition, it's actually a type of hypersomnia. People with narcolepsy experience sudden sleep attacks during the day. They might also experience other symptoms like sudden loss of muscle tone, sleep paralysis, and hallucinations when falling asleep or waking up. Causes of hypersomnia. The truth is, in many cases, especially with primary hypersomnia, we don't always know the exact cause. But there are several factors that can contribute to or cause hypersomnia. Number 1. Brain function. Some research suggests that hypersomnia might be linked to an overproduction of a small molecule in the brain that acts as a natural sedative. This could explain why people with hypersomnia feel so drowsy all the time. Number 2. Genetics. There seems to be a genetic component to some types of hypersomnia. If you have a family member with the condition, you might be more likely to develop it yourself. Number 3. Sleep apnea. People with sleep apnea experience repeated interruptions in their breathing during sleep, which prevents them from reaching deep, restful stages of sleep. Even though they may not be aware of these interruptions, their body feels the effects, leading to excessive daytime sleepiness. Number 4. Medical conditions. A whole range of medical issues can lead to secondary hypersomnia. These include sleep apnea, depression, anxiety, hypothyroidism, and certain neurological conditions like multiple sclerosis or brain injuries. Number 5. Medications. Some medications can cause excessive sleepiness as a side effect. These might include certain antidepressants, pain medications, or drugs used to treat high blood pressure. Number 6. Lifestyle factors. While not typically a cause of true hypersomnia, things like shift work, jet lag, or chronic sleep deprivation 
can sometimes mimic the symptoms of hypersomnia. Symptoms of hypersomnia. The main symptom of hypersomnia is a persistent feeling of excessive sleepiness during the day, regardless of how much sleep you get at night. It's more than just feeling a little tired. People with hypersomnia often feel an overwhelming need to sleep at inappropriate times, such as during meetings, while eating, or even while driving, which can be so dangerous. Even after sleeping for a long time at night, maybe 10 to 14 hours or more, you wake up feeling like you haven't slept at all. It's like your sleep tank never gets full, no matter how much you sleep. You might drag yourself out of bed, feeling groggy and disoriented, a feeling that persists throughout the day. This sensation of grogginess is known as sleep drunkenness and can last for hours after waking up. Naps are a big part of life with hypersomnia, but these aren't refreshing power naps. You might sleep for an hour or more and wake up feeling just as tired as before. Other than the sleep symptoms, concentration also becomes a real challenge. Your mind feels foggy and it's hard to focus on tasks. You might find yourself reading the same paragraph over and over or zoning out during important meetings. Memory can be affected too. You might forget appointments or have trouble recalling recent events. Some people with hypersomnia describe feeling like they're moving in slow motion. Simple tasks seem to take more effort than they should. You might feel physically sluggish with heavy limbs and a general lack of energy. Mood changes are common too. The constant fatigue can lead to irritability, anxiety, or even depression. You might find yourself withdrawing from social activities because you're too tired to participate. Diagnosis of hypersomnia. The first step usually involves a detailed medical history. Your doctor will want to know about your sleep patterns, how long you've been experiencing symptoms, and whether there's any family history of sleep disorders. You might be asked to keep a sleep diary for a couple of weeks. This involves recording when you go to bed, when you wake up, how long you sleep, and how you feel during the day. One of the most important diagnostic tools for hypersomnia is a sleep study, also known as polysomnography. For this, you'll spend a night in a sleep lab. While you sleep, machines will monitor things like your brain waves, heart rate, breathing, and eye movements. This can help identify any other sleep disorders that might be causing your symptoms, like sleep apnea. After the overnight sleep study, you might also undergo a multiple sleep latency test. This test measures how quickly you fall asleep during the day. You'll be given several opportunities to nap throughout the day, and the time it takes you to fall asleep is measured. People with hypersomnia often fall asleep very quickly during this test. If no other conditions are found, and you have been experiencing these symptoms for three months, then hypersomnia is diagnosed. Treatment for hypersomnia the treatment plan will depend on the type of hypersomnia you have, its severity, and what's causing it. Medications are often a key part of hypersomnia treatment. Stimulant medications like modafinil, armodafinil, or methylphenidate are commonly prescribed. These help promote wakefulness during the day. These medications work by stimulating the central nervous system, helping you stay alert during the day. For some people, antidepressants might be helpful, especially for certain types of narcolepsy. If your hypersomnia is secondary to another condition, treating that underlying cause is crucial. For example, for people with sleep apnea, continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP therapy is commonly prescribed. CPAP involves wearing a mask that provides a steady stream of air to keep the airways open during sleep. This prevents the interruptions in breathing that cause fragmented sleep, allowing the person to get more restorative rest and reducing daytime sleepiness. In cases where medications are causing hypersomnia, your doctor may adjust your dosage or switch you to a different medication with fewer sedative effects. In addition to medications, lifestyle changes can play a big role in managing hypersomnia. Establishing a consistent sleep schedule can help regulate your body's internal clock, ensuring you get enough sleep each night. Going to bed and waking up at the same time each day, even on weekends, can help reduce excessive daytime sleepiness. You should also try to avoid large meals, caffeine, and alcohol close to bedtime, as these can interfere with your sleep quality. Now we want to hear from you. Have you or someone you know experienced hypersomnia? What strategies have helped you manage excessive daytime sleepiness? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.